you you're told so many things right as as kids to kind of scare you away from doing something that your parents or your guardians or supervisors may find to be dangerous right and i i wanted to have this episode because I was a part of, you know, I had a lot of positive influences, but I also had influences in my life when I was younger that, you know, it's the same people that were telling you that, oh, Coke stunts your growth. Um, you know, if you have a soda, it'll stunt your growth. And it's like, bro, that is so made Soda's up. Soda's a better use there. Yeah, I was about to be like, <laughs> crack, okay? <laughs> like so soda, right, pop. Uh, whatever your your term is in your region of the, <laughs> of the world. Um, so Coca-Cola, Pepsi. Of course, Coca-Cola used to have cocaine in it, so I can't really um say much to that but anyways we're, we're getting off topic here <laughs> um there you know there's a lot of, of fear instilled into things that that super you know our, our parents or guardians used to our coaches or adults around us used to almost use as a tactic of of scaring you away from something that may or may not be negative or, or positive right i don't think drinking coca-cola as a kid is a great thing to do um but is it going to stunt your growth no, that's made up. Um, it will do other negative things for sure, but stunt your growth probably not one of them. To give it something energy to stunt its growth doesn't make sense to me. But um, as far as like weightlifting and strength training, this is also something I've I've heard grouped in with it's going to stunt your growth, right? And mm -hmm. I have a study pulled up um, right here talking about um this is actually in that position stand and essentially it reads um only three published studies have reported resistance training related injuries in children one was a shoulder strain that resolved within a week uh, a shoulder strain that resulted in one missed training session and a non-specific anterior thigh pain that resolved itself within five minutes of rest <laughs> right which we all know is like i'm s this burned <laughs> um, <laughs> so it's probably that um but like it's as long as it's supervised and as long as it's it's structured and you trust like alex was saying you trust that person that they have the best in, like they're paying attention they have the best interest of your child and your adolescent kid in mind like it's not gonna no more than jumping off a playground set would add any other danger too. I remember as a kid, I used to jump off the, what, what's the highest point I could jump off of? And I would just jump and land straight on my, you know, just straight down. Mm -hmm. And it was like, that was, that's, that's going to stop my growth. I mean, that's why I'm stunted anyways. <laughs> like that, maybe that's going to stop my growth more than weightlifting would for sure. Um, so I just wanted to kind of like nip that myth in the bud a little bit. If you are a parent, um, but just don't, that's not true necessarily. And there's a lot more nuance to it. And I hope this this first part of this episode sort of open dries up to it. Yeah. And the last thing I want to say on that subject, just in regards to younger girls, um, I think it, I mean, as I mentioned, it does depend on the environment that you build. And I know I have a lot of clients that are still trying to unlearn things that they picked up from their parent, aren't we all? Trying to unlearn certain things things that they picked up. And a lot of it comes from diet culture or just dieting in general. And so I have clients that'll say like, I still have to get past this because like when I was a young, young girl, my mom would make comments of like a moment on the lips forever on the hips or like you ate that now you need to go exercise. So as far as like differences for young girls, just as I talked about in episode 67, the first episode of this myth busting, as well as in episode 64, the episode I did with Charlotte, I wish that I got into lifting sooner because I talk about it showed me so much that I was capable of. And I think that if young females can get into that, that can be so beneficial to show them their strength and their body is so much more than fitting a certain size or looking a certain way. And they get to decide what that means to them. And so I think it is powerful for women to be able to get into the gym and to bring younger girls into the gym as well, um, just to be able to have that mentality shift and to see that capability and also to break down that threshold from episode 67 where strength training isn't only for men. And that starts from a young age of like being told like, oh no, the men are gonna go lift, you're gonna do this. So I think that it's really, really important to usher 
girls into the weight weight room and to get them lifting and to teach them about what it can mean because just like Alex and Austin where I was scared to go into the gym and I didn't really venture into the gym by myself to like go and lift until I was a senior in high school um, and then into college a lot of it was because I had no idea what to do and I didn't want to be embarrassed and if I would have just gotten a little bit of guidance earlier on that would have really helped with me me being able to go and do what I wanted to instead of being held back by all of these things that have been told to me. So 